Howdy doody, this is Mike Egliolo, and let's do a two minute tutorial. Um, but what's really important is, Larie just brought me some brownies, it's my birthday. Don't tell anybody, I don't want anybody singing. But if anybody wants any of these, just give me a call, I'll save you one. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the tutorial. I'm going to show you folks how to make this without using any camera. It's just a um, fun little how do you make something in Photoshop. Quickly, go to new file. Again, 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Always just put 300s across. White background is fine. We're going to change it to black, but white's fine. There's the box. I did command plus to make it look larger on our screen. And I'm going to go command uh, A for all and delete because I want this box to be black so you can see I've got fill and I'm picking instead of the foreground color which I could pick the background color I'm going with black there you go image is all black and first thing you do is go to filter go to render go to lens flare there it is it's really important that you haven't used lens floor lens floor, lens flare um, that day and changed any of these things because you want it to be at 100% and you want that lens flare to be right there. Now if you've never used it, this is a good time to see how it works. So I click OK and you get a great flare. Now to turn that into that bubble, here's what you have to do. Go to filter and here's some filters you probably never used before. Um, go under distort. Polar coordinates. You may never use this for anything else, but this is great for this. Click on polar coordinates. See, you have two choices. We're going to pick the bottom one, polar to rectangular. Click it, say OK, and there's part of your image. You're almost done already. All you need to do is take the image and rotate it. So I've gone under image, rotate, and rotate it 180 degrees. That's all it's done is flipped it that way. I'm now going back to filter. Distort, polar coordinates again, but this time I'm clicking the top one. Give it one click, say OK, and you've got that black, dark bubble. It'd be fun to put an earth in there, all kinds of things. That'll be a future um, um, tutorial that we'll do. In the meantime, I'm just doing Command-I, and you can see I can turn it into a white bubble real easy. Cut that out and put it into things. Um, let's stop there. Um, <laughs> let's just stop there. This is Mike Aglielo for Student Stock.